We propose a method to enhance traditional blend shape animation with physical effects, such as secondary motion. In facial animation, subtle dynamics can add greatly to the realism of an animation, in particular for performance involving rapid motion like running. Here we see high-speed video footage of a person running. Notice the secondary motion, especially around the cheeks. The dynamics of the face are expression dependent, since muscle activation can stiffen the surrounding tissue, changing the physical material properties. This is evident when she performs a smile. Now the cheek tissue has become stiffer and exhibits different dynamic behavior. Here we see yet another expression. So far, no facial animation model is able to easily add such secondary dynamics and still remain artist friendly. We propose to enhance the traditional blend shape animation approach by adding a layer of physical simulation which is automatic and intuitive to control. By simply painting material properties on individual blend shapes, we define a blend materials subspace. Then guided by an input animation sequence, we simulate the soft tissue with spatial temporally varying parameters and add the dynamics back to the animation. Here is an overview of our approach. The artist provides a blend shape rig with skull and jaw bones. From this standard input, we initialize our physical face model, which abstracts the complexity of a full muscle-based model by approximating all the soft tissues as a single finite element volume. Then, given animation sequences, we apply our blend shape-driven simulation method in order to enrich the animation with physical effects like secondary motion. One of the keys to our method is a novel approach to update the rest shape during simulation without adding unwanted forces. Here we show an example on a simple elastic bar fixed at one end. Our result is shown in blue with traditional simulation overlaid in wireframe. The rest shape is shown in green. We let the bar deform under gravity and come to rest. Then as we change the rest shape, our method is able to accommodate the change without adding forces, unlike traditional simulation. Here's another example going from short to long. When the shape changes, our simulation directly reflects the new rest configuration without unwanted dynamic effects. Similarly, our method can handle updating material properties during simulation as well. Again, our result is shown in blue with traditional simulation overlaid in wireframe. The rest shape is shown on the left with color-coded material properties where blue is soft and red is stiff. Preventing spurious forces like these is particularly important for speech animation, where the visual and audio signals must be synchronized. In this example, the input animation, shown in red wireframe, defines the per-frame rest shapes, and there is no additional head motion. Our result, shown in blue, perfectly matches the input since there are no forces acting on the face. Without force rebalancing, spurious forces caused by the rest shape changes produce unwanted motions, as shown in green wireframe. This is particularly noticeable if the motion stops abruptly. Our approach to allow updating both rest shape and material properties during simulation allows us to add secondary dynamics to blend shape driven facial animation. Here's an example shown in slow motion where an animator created a running sequence with a facial expression change from squinting on one side to squinting on the other side. Our result shows how secondary motion can be added in a spatial temporally meaningful way. Notice that the tightened side of the face behaves more rigidly than the loose side, even as the expression changes. The material properties are intuitively controlled by painting on the blend shapes, and the material is unblended between expressions. Here we show that a uniform material does not achieve the desired result, as here the whole face has similar secondary motion, independent of the expression and muscle tightening. Similarly, a spatially varying but temporally constant material is also insufficient. Only our spatial temporally changing material parameters can achieve the desired motion. Here's another example on a different character. In this example, the expression changes from neutral to puffing cheeks while shaking the head. Notice that the cheeks and lips become stiffer when the cheeks are puffed with air, naturally mimicking reality. Material parameters are shown on the left. In another example of running, the expression is changed from neutral to smile, and our result shows smooth changing of the dynamics with the performance. Our approach also allows for partial dynamic rebalancing, where an artist can dial in a certain amount of spurious forces as desired. Here we see again the toy example of a ball with changing material parameters. Our results are shown in blue, while traditional simulation without rebalancing is shown in green wireframe. After the ball comes to rest, we stiffen the material, 
and then we will soften it again. Here we show that the force rebalancing step can be dialed in as desired, from completely off on the left, to fully on with no spurious forces on the right. Similarly, on the face, we can continuously control the amount of spurious motion, interpolating seamlessly between 100% rebalancing to match the input animation in red, to 0%, matching traditional dynamic simulation, and back to 100%. Our method can also be applied to fantasy creatures. Here we have a character made of mud, and we have modeled two extreme states. In the wet state, the mud is soft and should exhibit significant secondary motion. But in the dry state, the mud hardens. These states are also represented by two different blend shapes, which should be interpolated smoothly. The input animation is a shaking head sequence, with changes of state shown here in real time. And here is our result, complete with dynamic effects. Let's watch again at one quarter speed. and again at one-tenth speed. We use this example to demonstrate a benefit of adding physical effects to facial animation, and that is collision handling, where our method can prevent self-collisions of the lips, resulting in a more realistic animation. In summary, we present the first method to add physical effects to traditional blend shape animations, which takes into account the spatial temporally varying material properties that occur during facial expressions.